Hey guys and welcome to another video on Wipro Elite National Level Hunt coding questions that you can possibly expect by Quan Masters. This is Shashank, your technical trainer here and let's look at the kind of possible questions that we can expect here. Now, over the last two sessions, we have gone through a few numeric problems. Now, we're going to go through a pattern problem. So, take this for instance. The given program is like this. Given a number n, given an input number n, your output should be a pattern like this. So, the input is just the number of lines. So, it could be 5, 6, 10, 15, whatever it could be. All you need to print is the output in this following order. So, if the given number of input, that is, given input number of lines is 5, you're supposed to print 5 lines. The first line being A printed once, second line B printed twice, third line C printed thrice, fourth line D printed four times, and fifth line E printed five times. Now, the small modification in this along is that all even lines should print lowercase characters and odd lines should print uppercase characters. So, let us try to work through this. So, let's observe this. Assume we have five lines of input as stated. Assume in other words, the input is just one number, it is five. If the input is five, that means we are supposed to print five lines. So the first thing we're going to do in our code is just create a loop which is going to print five lines. Let's say something like this. I equals one, I less than equal to five, I plus plus. And since we are supposed to print five lines, I'm just going to print something like slash n. So this is basically printing slash n five times. In other words, five empty lines are printed. But before we print slash n, you can see that there are certain patterns that we are supposed to print. So before slash n here, we are supposed to print the certain patterns. Now, to begin with, <clears throat> whenever we get any code with characters, my best suggestion would always be to convert it to numbers and then convert it to characters. So, if we convert it to numbers, I can say it is same as 1, 2, 2, then followed by 3 times 3, then 4 times 4, then 5 times 5. Now, this is a much easier program to solve. So, let us create this first and then convert the result into characters later on. So, in the first line, I'm supposed to print one, one time. In the second line, I'm supposed to print two, two times. In the third line, I'm supposed to print three, three times, and so on. Now, if we observe this, when i equals one, we are basically printing first line. When i equals two, we are printing second line. When i is three, we are printing third line. So, in other words, when i is one, we are supposed to print one one time. When i is two, we are supposed to print two two times. When i is three, we are supposed to print three three times. Similarly, for a line i, all that we are supposed to do is print i i times. Think through this. For line one, we are printing one one time. For line two, we are printing two two times. For line three, we are printing three three times. For line i, we are printing i, basically i times. So, let us create a loop where we can print i as the input exactly i times on the output screen. So, let us try doing this. Let's begin with the program. The first thing we need to do is take an input integer n. So, let us read this from the user as a variable n. Once we read it as a variable n, the next thing we are supposed to do is print slash n n times. So, let us take one more variable. Let's call it as i. And all that we are doing here is start a for loop for i equals 1, i less than equal to n i plus plus. That means we are basically printing n different lines. In other words, i loops from 1 to n. So, this loop runs n times. Since given number input is n and we are, we are supposed to print n lines, we will just print slash n over here. That's supposed to print 
n empty lines. So if we run this and give an output like 5, that's supposed to basically print 5 empty lines. But the problem is we can't see empty lines. So in each line, I'll just print the value of i as well. I'll just let's print the value of i in each line so that we can see the line numbers. So the moment I print, I type 5 as input, let's say for instance, the output that we'll be getting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in other words, I can say that when we are printing 1, that is when i is 1, we are in line number 1. When i is 2, you can say we are in line number 2. When i is 3, you can say we are in line number 3. In other words, we can basically say that i represents line number. So once this is done, once we know that i represents line number, let us go back to the program and remember this in line i. We are supposed to print i i times. That is, in line 1, we are supposed to print 1 1 times. In line 2, we are supposed to print 2 2 times. In line 3, we are supposed to print 3 3 times and so on. So, I need a loop within this for loop which runs i times because I'm supposed to print 2 2 times in line 2, 3 3 times in line 3 and so on. So, we'll take one more variable j over here. The reason why I'm not using i anymore is because i is 1. Once this for loop ends, i should increase to 2. If I use a for loop with i here, i will increase to 4 or 5 something in between and our entire pattern will not look the same. So, I'll be using a for j loop and here I'm supposed to repeat it i times so that I can print i in it. So, I'll make it as j equals 1, j less than equal to i, j plus plus. So, we are repeating it i times and here we'll just print percentage d comma i. So, if we run this now, let's say we give an input 5, we are getting the output with the numbers that is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4 times 4 and 5 times 5 in each line. So, this work is done, but our program prints them all as characters. Now, let's try to figure out how to do that. Now, all that we need to do here is, instead of printing, let's say 1, I'm supposed to print A. Instead of printing 2, I'm supposed to print B. Let's only do uppercase first and then let us figure out how to turn into lowercase. So, instead of printing, let's say 3, I'm supposed to print C. So, in other words, I can say that ASCII value of A is, as we know, 65. So, instead of 1, I'm supposed to print 65. ASCII value of B, as we know, is 66. So, instead of 2, I'm supposed to print 66. Likewise, ASCII value of 3 is, or sorry, ASCII value of C is 67. So, instead of 3, I'm supposed to print 67. So, let us just print 65 instead of 1, 66 instead of 2, and 67 instead of 3. So, in other words, for every i that we are printing, we are just adding 64. So, for 1, we are printing, we are adding 64 to make it 65. For 2, we are adding again 64 to make it 66, and so on. So, let us do this in our code. So, when we run it here, instead of printing i, I'll just print it as i plus 64 everywhere for each line. So, let us run this now with a number 5. We are getting this as the output, but the problem is we are getting it as numbers. That's because we are printing it as percentage c, whereas we are supposed to print it as a character. So, let's print it as percentage c instead of percentage d and now give 5 as the input. We get our characters as expected. But there's still one problem. For even lines, I'm supposed to print in lowercase. Now, how do I get to know if my line is even? When i is even. Because we know i is line number. So, when i is even, so the only change we're supposed to do is to make sure whenever the line is even, that is, whenever i is an even number, as 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, in that case, we are just supposed to print it in a different way. So, in this printing of character, I'm supposed to make two conditions. There is one, if i mod 2 is equal to 0. Another, else. 
so in else case i'm just going to print whatever we had earlier because in odd lines we are supposed to print upper case characters but in even lines we are supposed to print lower case characters so i can't write the same statement for even lines for even lines since i have to print lower case characters lower case characters begin with an ascii value 97 so i need to add 96 instead because for upper case characters they begin with 65 i added 64 to make it 65 same way for line 2 since i'm supposed to print b i'm going to add 96 to line number let's say 2 that's going to make it 98 which is lower case b so let us try printing now with an input like 5 now we have got our output for the pattern program as expected this is the entire pattern program to print something like this now we didn't take a long time to do this which is something very simple and easy so such pattern programs are often asked with many varieties there are diamond there are inverted pyramid and so on which we'll see in our coming sessions now for more programs like this for more details on the courses that we conduct please do check our description and um do like and subscribe to keep yourself tuned in for more videos on the same thank you guys